Normandy, French, Normandy, pronounced Nem -d listen, Norman, Normandy, from Old French Normans, plural of Normand, originally from the word for Northmen, in several Scandinavian languages, is one of the 18 regions of France, roughly referring to the historical Duchy of Normandy. Normandy is divided into five administrative departments Calvados, Ur, Manche, Orne, and Seine Maritime. It covers 30,627 square kilometers, 11,825 square miles, comprising roughly 5% of the territory of metropolitan France. Its population of 3.37 million accounts for around 5% of the population of France. The inhabitants of Normandy are known as Normans, and the region is the historic homeland of the Norman language. The historical region of Normandy comprised the present-day region of Normandy, as well as small areas now part of the departments of Mayen and Sarthe. The Channel Islands French, Isles Anglo -Normans are also historically part of Normandy, they cover 194 square kilometres and comprise two bailiwicks, Guernsey and Jersey, which are British Crown dependencies over which Queen Elizabeth II reigns as Duke of Normandy. Normandy's name comes from the settlement of the territory by mainly Danish and Norwegian Vikings. Northmen, from the 9th century, and confirmed by treaty in the 10th century between King Charles III of France and the Viking Jarl Rollo. For a century and a half following the Norman conquest of England in 1066, Normandy and England were linked by Norman and Frankish rulers. History Archaeological finds, such as cave paintings, prove that humans were present in the region in prehistoric times. Celts also known as Belgae and Gauls invaded Normandy in successive waves from the 4th to the 3rd century BC. When Julius Caesar invaded Gaul, there were nine different Celtic tribes living in Normandy. The Romanization of Normandy was achieved by the usual methods, Roman roads and a policy of urbanization. Classicists have knowledge of many Gallo-Roman villas in Normandy. In the late 3rd century, barbarian raids devastated Normandy. Coastal settlements were raided by Saxon pirates. Christianity also began to enter the area during this period. In 406, Germanic tribes began invading from the east, while the Saxons subjugated the Norman coast. As early as 487, the area between the River Somme and the River Loire came under the control of the Frankish lord Clovis. The Vikings started to raid the Seine Valley during the middle of the 9th century. As early as 841, a Viking fleet appeared at the mouth of the Seine, the principal route by which they entered the kingdom. After attacking and destroying monasteries, including one at Jumiges, they took advantage of the power vacuum created by the disintegration of Charlemagne's empire to take northern France. The fiefdom of Normandy was created for the Viking leader Rolfer Ranvaldson, or Rollo also known as Robert of Normandy. Rollo had besieged Paris but in 911 entered vassalage to the King of the West Franks, Charles the Simple, through the Treaty of St. Clair sur Epte. In exchange for his homage and fealty, Rollo legally gained the territory which he and his Viking allies had previously conquered. The name, Normandy, reflects Rollo's Viking i.e. Norseman origins. To this day, in Norwegian language the word Nordman pran, Norman, denotes a Norwegian person. The descendants of Rollo and his followers adopted the local Gallo-Romance language and intermarried with the area's native Gallo-Roman inhabitants. They became the Normans, a Norman-speaking mixture of Norsemen and indigenous Franks, Celts and Romans. Rollo's descendant William, became King of England in 1066 after defeating Harold Godwinson, the last of the Anglo-Saxon kings, at the Battle of Hastings, while retaining the fiefdom of Normandy for himself and his descendants. Topic. Norman expansion Besides the conquest of England and the subsequent subjugation of Wales and Ireland, the Normans expanded into other areas. Norman families, such as that of Tancred of Hauteville, Rainulf Drango and Guimond de Moulins played important parts in the conquest of southern Italy and the Crusades. The Drango lineage, de Hauteville's sons William Iron Arm, Drogo, and Humphrey, Robert Giscard and Roger the Great Count progressively claimed territories in southern Italy until founding the Kingdom of Sicily in 1130. They also carved out a place for themselves and their descendants in the Crusader states of Asia Minor and the Holy Land. The 14th century explorer Jean de Bathancourt established a kingdom in the Canary Islands in 1404. 
He received the title King of the Canary Islands from Pope Innocent VII but recognized Henry III of Castile as his overlord, who had provided him aid during the conquest. 13th to 17th centuries In 1204, during the reign of John Lackland, mainland Normandy was taken from England by France under King Philip II. Insular Normandy the Channel Islands remained however under English control. In 1259, Henry III of England recognized the legality of French possession of mainland Normandy under the Treaty of Paris. His successors, however, often fought to regain control of their ancient fiefdom. The Chart aux Normands granted by Louis X of France in 1315 and later reconfirmed in 1339 like the analogous Magna Carta granted in England in the aftermath of 1204 guaranteed the liberties and privileges of the province of Normandy. French Normandy was occupied by English forces during the Hundred Years' War in 1345-1360 and again in 1415-1450. Normandy lost three quarters of its population during the war. Afterward prosperity returned to Normandy until the wars of religion. When many Norman towns Alencon, Rouen, Caen, Coutances, Bayou joined the Protestant Reformation, battles ensued throughout the province. In the Channel Islands, a period of Calvinism following the Reformation was suppressed when Anglicanism was imposed following the English Civil War. Samuel de Champlain left the port of Henfleur in 1604 and founded Acadia. Four years later, he founded Quebec City. From then onwards, Normans engaged in a policy of expansion in North America. They continued the exploration of the New World. Rene Robert Cavalier de La Salle traveled in the area of the Great Lakes, then on the Mississippi River. Pierre Le Moyne d'Iberville and his brother Le Moyne de Bienville founded Louisiana, Biloxi, Mobile, and New Orleans. Territories located between Quebec and the Mississippi Delta were opened up to establish Canada and Louisiana. Colonists from Normandy were among the most active in New France, comprising Acadia, Canada, and Louisiana. Henfleur and Le Havre were two of the principal slave trade ports of France. <laughs> Modern history Although agriculture remained important, industries such as weaving, metallurgy, sugar refining, ceramics, and shipbuilding were introduced and developed. In the 1780s, the economic crisis and the crisis of the ancient regime struck Normandy as well as other parts of the nation, leading to the French Revolution. Bad harvests, technical progress and the effects of the Eden Agreement signed in 1786 affected employment and the economy of the province. Normans labored under a heavy fiscal burden. In 1790 the five departments of Normandy replaced the former province. 13 13th of July 1793 the Norman Charlotte Corday assassinated Merritt The Normans reacted little to the many political upheavals which characterized the 19th century Overall they warily accepted the changes of regime first French empire bourbon restoration July monarchy French second republic second French empire French third republic There was an economic revival mechanization of textile manufacture first trains after the French Revolutionary Wars and the Napoleonic Wars 1792 and new economic activity stimulated the coasts, seaside tourism. The 19th century marks the birth of the first beach resorts. During the Second World War, following the armistice of the 22nd of June 1940, continental Normandy was part of the German-occupied zone of France. The Channel Islands were occupied by German forces between 30 June 1940 and 9 May 1945. The town of Dieppe was the site of the unsuccessful Dieppe raid by Canadian and British armed forces. The Allies, in this case involving Britain, the United States, Canada and Free France, coordinated a massive build-up of troops and supplies to support a large-scale invasion of Normandy in the D-Day landings on 6 June 1944 under the code name Operation Overlord. The Germans were dug into fortified emplacements above the beaches. Caen, Cherbourg, Carentan, Falaise and other Norman towns endured many casualties in the Battle of Normandy, which continued until the closing of the so-called Falaise Gap between Chambois and Mont-Ormel. The liberation of Le Havre followed. This was a significant turning point in the war and led to the restoration of the French Republic. The remainder of Normandy was liberated only on 9 May 1945 at the end of the war, when the Channel Island occupation effectively ended. 
Between 1956 and 2015, Normandy was divided into two administrative regions, Lower Normandy and Upper Normandy. The regions were merged into one single region on the 1st of January 2016. Upper Normandy, Haute Normandy, consisted of the French departments of Seine-Maritime and Ur, and Lower Normandy, Basse Normandy, of the departments of Orne, Calvados, and Manche. Topic: <laughs> Geography. The historical Duchy of Normandy was a formerly independent duchy occupying the Lower Seine area, the Pays de Cox and the region to the west through the Pays d'Age as far as the Cotentin Peninsula. Western Normandy belongs to the Armorican Massif, whereas the major part of the region belongs to the Paris Basin. France's oldest rocks crop out in Jobourg in the Cotentin Peninsula. The region is bordered along the northern coasts by the English Channel. There are granite cliffs in the west and limestone cliffs in the east. There are also long stretches of beach in the center of the region. The bocage typical of the western areas caused problems for the invading forces in the Battle of Normandy. A notable feature of the landscape is created by the meanders of the Seine as it approaches its estuary. The highest point is the Signal de Couves 417 meters in the Massif Armoricaine. Normandy is sparsely forested, 12.8% of the territory is wooded, compared to a French average of 23.6%, although the proportion varies between the departments. Ur has most cover 21%, while Manche has least 4%, a characteristic shared with the islands. Regions The Avranchin The Besson The Bauptois the Bocage Virois, the Campagne de Lancan, the Campagne d'Argentin, the Campagne de Caen, the Campagne de Falaise, the Campagne du Neuburg, the Campagne de Saint André or de Vareux, the Cotentin, the Perch, the Domfrante or Passaius, the Hyamois, the Leuven, the Mortenay. The Pays d'Age, central Normandy, is characterized by excellent agricultural land. The Pays de Bray The Pays de Cox The Pays de Hume The Pays de Madrid, area between the Seine and the Ur. The Pays d'Uche The Rumois et Marais Vernier The Suisse Normand Norman Switzerland, in the south, presents hillier terrain. The Val de Serre The Vexen Norman Topic. Channel Islands The Bailiage of Jersey The Bailiage of Guernsey Channel Islands are considered culturally and historically a part of Normandy. However, they are British Crown dependencies, and are not part of the modern French region of Normandy. Although the British surrendered claims to mainland Normandy, France, and other French possessions in 1801, the monarch of the United Kingdom retains the title Duke of Normandy in respect to the Channel Islands. The Channel Islands except for Chassi, remain crown dependencies of the British Crown in the present era. Thus the loyal toast in the Channel Islands is Lorraine, Notre Duc, the Queen, our Duke. The British monarch is understood to not be the duke with regards to mainland Normandy described herein, by virtue of the Treaty of Paris of 1259, the surrender of French possessions in 1801, and the belief that the rights of succession to that title are subject to Salic law which excludes inheritance through female heirs. Rivers Rivers in Normandy include The Seine and its tributaries the Andel, the Epte, the Ur, the Rissel, the Robicond, many coastal rivers, the Bressel, the Cousnon, which traditionally marks the boundary between the Duchy of Brittany and the Duchy of Normandy, the Dives, the Orne, the Say, the Saloon, the Touques, the Vuels, the shortest French river, the Vera. Topic. Politics The modern region of Normandy was created by the territorial reform of French regions in 2014 by the merger of Lower Normandy, and Upper Normandy. The new region took effect on 1 January 2016, after the regional elections in December 2015. 
Topic: <laughs> Government. The Regional Council has 102 members who are elected under a system of proportional representation. The executive consists of a president and vice presidents. Hervé Morin from the Centre Party was elected president of the council in January 2016. Economy Much of Normandy is predominantly agricultural in character, with cattle breeding the most important sector although in decline from the peak levels of the 1970s and 1980s. The Bocage is a patchwork of small fields with high hedges, typical of western areas. Areas near the Seine the former Upper Normandy region contain a higher concentration of industry. Normandy is a significant cider-producing region, and also produces Calvados, a distilled cider or apple brandy. Other activities of economic importance are dairy produce, flax 60% of production in France, horse breeding including two French national stud farms, fishing, seafood, and tourism. The region contains three French nuclear power stations. There is also easy access to and from the UK using the ports of Cherbourg, Caen, Wiestrom, Le Havre and Dieppe. Demographics In January 2006 the population of Normandy including the part of Perch which lies inside the Orne department but excluding the Channel Islands was estimated at 3,260,000 with an average population density of 109 inhabitants per square kilometre, just under the French national average, but rising to 147 for Upper Normandy. The main cities population given from the 1999 census are Rouen 518,316 in the metropolitan area, the capital since 2016 of the province and formerly of Upper Normandy, Caen 420,000 in the metropolitan area and formerly the capital of Lower Normandy, Le Havre 296,773 in the metropolitan area, and Cherbourg 117,855 in the metropolitan area. Culture Topic. Flag The traditional provincial flag of Normandy, Gules, two leopards passant or, is used in both modern regions. The historic three leopard version known in the Norman language as Les Tres Cats, the three cats is used by some associations and individuals, especially those who support reunification of the regions and cultural links with the Channel Islands and England. Jersey and Guernsey use three leopards in their national symbols. The three leopards represents the strength and courage Normandy has towards the neighbouring provinces. The unofficial anthem of the region is the song, Ma Normandy. Topic. Language. The Norman language, a regional language, is spoken by a minority of the population on the continent and the islands, with a concentration in the Cotentin Peninsula in the far west the Cotentinet dialect, and in the Pays de Cox in the east the Couchois dialect. Many place names demonstrate the Norse influence in this oil language, for example Beck stream, Fleur river, Hu island, Tot homestead, Dal or Dale valley, and Hoag hill, mound. French is the only official language in continental Normandy and English is also an official language in the Channel Islands. Topic: <laughs> Architecture. Architecturally, Norman cathedrals, abbeys such as the Abbey of Beck and castles characterize the former duchy in a way that mirrors the similar pattern of Norman architecture in England following the Norman conquest of 1066. Domestic architecture in Upper Normandy is typified by half-timbered buildings that also recall vernacular English architecture, although the farm enclosures of the more harshly landscaped Pays de Cox are a more idiosyncratic response to socio-economic and climatic imperatives. Much urban architectural heritage was destroyed during the Battle of Normandy in 1944 post-war urban reconstruction, such as in Le Havre and saint Lô, could be said to demonstrate both the virtues and vices of modernist and brutalist trends of the 1950s and 1960s. Le Havre, the city rebuilt by Auguste Perret, was added to UNESCO's World Heritage List in 2005. Vernacular architecture in Lower Normandy takes its form from granite, the predominant local building material. 
The Channel Islands also share this influence. Chasi was for many years a source of quarried granite, including that used for the construction of Mont Saint Michel. The south part of Bagnols de Laorne is filled with bourgeois villas in Belle Epoque style with polychrome facades, bow windows, and unique roofing. This area, built between 1886 and 1914, has an authentic Bagnolese style and is typical of high society country vacation of the time. The Chapel of Saint Germanus Chapelle Saint -Germain at Kirkville with its trefoil floor plan incorporates elements of one of the earliest surviving places of Christian worship in the Cotentin, perhaps second only to the Gallo-Roman baptistry at Port Bale. It is dedicated to Germanus of Normandy. <laughs> Gastronomy Parts of Normandy consist of rolling countryside typified by pasture for dairy cattle and apple orchards. A wide range of dairy products are produced and exported. Norman cheeses include camembert, Livero, pont levesque brillat savarin, Neufchatel, Petite Suisse and Borson. Normandy butter and Normandy cream are lavishly used in gastronomic specialties. Fish and seafood are of superior quality in Normandy. Turbot and oysters from the Cotentin Peninsula are major delicacies throughout France. Normandy is the chief oyster cultivating, scallop exporting, and mussel raising region in France. Normandy is a major cider producing region very little wine is produced. Perry is also produced, but in less significant quantities. Apple brandy, of which the most famous variety is Calvados, is also popular. The mealtime True Normand, or Norman Hole is a pause between meal courses in which diners partake of a glassful of Calvados in order to improve the appetite and make room for the next course, and this is still observed in many homes and restaurants. Pomo is an aperitif produced by blending unfermented cider and apple brandy. Another aperitif is the Kir Normand, a measure of creme de cassis topped up with cider. Benedictine is produced in Fakamp. Apples are also widely used in cooking, for example, moules à la Normande are mussels cooked with apples, cream and cheese, bordelots are apples baked in pastry, partridges are flamed with rinette apples, and localities all over the province have their own variation of apple tart, that is more popular named tan 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 tan, because the people can't say the correct name, tart to tan. A classic pastry dish from the region is Norman tart a pastry-based variant of the apple tart. Other regional specialities include tripes à la mode de con, andouilles and andoulettes, salade couchoise, salt meadow pré -salé, lamb, seafood mussels, scallops, lobsters, mackerel, and torgoule spiced rice pudding. Normandy dishes include duckling à la rouennaise, sautéed chicken avetois, and goose and daub. Rabbit is cooked with morels, or à la havres stuffed with truffled pig's trotters. Other dishes are sheep's trotters à la rouennaise, casserole veal, larded calf's liver braised with carrots, and veal or turkey in cream and mushrooms. Normandy is also noted for its pastries. It is the birthplace of brioches, especially those from Evero and Gizers, and also turns out doulins, pears baked in pastry, cracklins, roulettes in Rouen, fouesses in Caen, falous in Lisieux, sablés in Lisieux. Confectionery of the region includes Rouen apple sugar, Assigny caramels, Bayou mint chews, fillets berlingots, Le Havre marzipans, Argentin croquettes, and Rouen macaroons. Normandy is the native land of Talevent, cook of the kings of France Charles V and Charles VI. He wrote the earliest French cookery book named Le Viandier. Confiture de lait was also made in Normandy around the 14th century. <laughs> Literature. The Dukes of Normandy commissioned and inspired epic literature to record and legitimize their rule. Wace, Orduric Vitalis and Stephen of Rouen were among those who wrote in the service of the Dukes. After the division of 1204, French literature provided the model for the development of literature in Normandy. Olivier Basselin wrote of the Vaux de Vera, the origin of literary vaudeville. Among notable Norman writers in French are Jean Merritt, Rémi Billot, Guy de Maupassant, Jules Barbie Dorévalie, Gustave Flaubert, Octave Mirbeau, and Rémi de Gourmont, and Alexis de Tocqueville. The Cornet brothers, Pierre and Thomas, born in Rouen, were great figures of French classical literature. David Ferrand in his Muse Normande established a landmark of Norman language literature. 
In the 16th and 17th centuries, the workers and merchants of Rouen established a tradition of polemical and satirical literature in a form of language called the parlor purin. At the end of the 18th century and beginning of the 19th century a new movement arose in the Channel Islands, led by writers such as George Medivier, which sparked a literary renaissance on the Norman mainland. In exile in Jersey and then Guernsey, Victor Hugo took an interest in the vernacular literature. Les Travires de la Mer is a well-known novel by Hugo set in the Channel Islands. The boom in insular literature in the early 19th century encouraged production especially in La Hague and around Cherbourg, where Alfred Rossel, Louis Bouv and Cotus Capel became active. The typical medium for literary expression in Norman has traditionally been newspaper columns and almanacs. The novel Zabeth by André Lewis which appeared in 1969 was the first novel published in Norman. Topic. Painting. Normandy has a rich tradition of painting and gave to France some of its most important artists. In the 17th century some major French painters were Normans like Nicolas Poussin, born in Les Andelys and Jean Jouvenet. Romanticism drew painters to the Channel coasts of Normandy. Richard Parks Bonington and J. M. W. Turner crossed the Channel from Great Britain, attracted by the light and landscapes. Théodore Jericho, a native of Rouen, was a notable figure in the Romantic movement, its famous Rado de la Meduse being considered come the breakthrough of pictorial Romanticism in France when it was officially presented at the 1819 Salon. The competing realist tendency was represented by Jean-François Millet, a native of La Hague. The landscape painter Eugène Boudin, born in Henfleur, was a determining influence on the Impressionists and was highly considered by Monet. Breaking away from the more formalized and classical themes of the early part of the 19th century, Impressionist painters preferred to paint outdoors, in natural light, and to concentrate on landscapes, towns and scenes of daily life. Leader of the movement and father of modern painting, Claude Monet is one of the best-known Impressionists and a major character in Normandy's artistic heritage. His house and gardens at Giverny are one of the region's major tourist sites, much visited for their beauty and their water lilies, as well as for their importance to Monet's artistic inspiration. Normandy was at the heart of his creation, from the paintings of Rouen's cathedral to the famous depictions of the cliffs at Etretat, the beach and port at Faycamp and the sunrise at Le Havre. It was Impression, Sunrise, Monet's painting of Le Havre, that led to the movement being dubbed Impressionism. After Monet, all the main avant-garde painters of the 1870s and 1880s came to Normandy to paint its landscapes and its changing lights, concentrating along the Seine Valley and the Norman coast. Landscapes and scenes of daily life were also immortalized on canvas by artists such as William Turner, Gustave Corbett, the Henfleur-born Eugene Boudin, Camille Pissarro, Alfred Sisley, Auguste Renoir, Gustave Caillebotte, Paul Gauguin, Georges Seurat, Paul Signac, Pierre Bonnard, Georges Braque and Pablo Picasso. While Monet's work adorns galleries and collections all over the world, a remarkable quantity of Impressionist works can be found in galleries throughout Normandy, such as the Museum of Fine Arts in Rouen, the Musée Eugène Boudin in Henfleur or the André Malraux Museum in Le Havre. Maurice Dennis, one of the leaders and theoricists of the Nabis movement in the 1890s, was a native of Granville, in the Manche department. The Société Normande de Peinture Moderne was founded in 1909 by Pierre Dumont, Robert Antoine Pinchon, Yvonne Barbier, and Eugene Tervert. Among members were Raoul Duffy, a native of Le Havre, Albert Marquette, Francis Picabia, and Maurice Utrillo. Also in this movement were the Duchamp brothers, Jacques Villain and Marcel Duchamp, considered one of the father of modern art, also natives of Normandy. Jean Dubuffet, one of the leading French artists of the 1940s and the 1950s was born in Le Havre. Topic. Religion Christian missionaries implanted monastic communities in the territory in the 5th and 6th centuries. Some of these missionaries came from across the channel. The influence of Celtic Christianity can still be found in the Cotentin. By the terms of the Treaty of St. Clair sur Epte, Rollo, a Viking pagan, accepted Christianity and was baptized. The Duchy of Normandy was therefore formally a Christian state from its foundation. The cathedrals of Normandy have exerted influence down the centuries in matters of both faith and politics. 
King Henry II of England, did penance at the Cathedral of Avranches on 21 May 1172 and was absolved from the censures incurred by the assassination of Thomas Becket. Mont Saint-Michel is a historic pilgrimage site. Normandy does not have one generally agreed patron saint, although this title has been ascribed to Saint Michael, and to Saint Ewan. Many saints have been revered in Normandy down the centuries, including Aubert Hus remembered as the founder of Mont Saint-Michel Marcouf and Laud who are important saints in Normandy Hellier and Samson of Dahl who are evangelizers of the Channel Islands Thomas Becket, an Anglo-Norman whose parents were from Rouen, who was the object of a considerable cult in mainland Normandy following his martyrdom Joan of Arc who was martyred in Rouen, and who is especially remembered in that city Thérèse de Lisieux, whose birthplace in Alencon and later home in Lisieux are a focus for religious pilgrims. Germanus of Normandy Since the 1905 French law on the separation of the churches and the state there is no established church in mainland Normandy. In the Channel Islands, the Church of England is the established church. <laughs> People See Category, People from Normandy Topic. Image gallery Topic. See also Duchy of Normandy Duke of Normandy Topic. References Topic. External links In French Normandy heritage the Norman Worlds Gallery of Photos of Normandy